What's up guys, Halo Vlogs 13 here, back at it again with another video for your guys' enjoyment, or lack thereof. Because my content is shit. And in today's mediocre video, I'm going to be reviewing another energy drink. So about a month or two ago, I released a video where I reviewed one of Monster's coffee energy drinks. It was a vanilla coffee drink, which they labeled as Mean Bean. If you guys haven't watched that video yet, check it out. Link to it in the description box down below. And as of me recording this video, that video did okay enough view-wise. So, I'm going to be coming back and reviewing another one of Monster's coffee energy drink beverages. And today's energy drink that's going to be reviewed is going to be... Java Monster Loca Mocha, which is the mocha counterpart of Mean Bean. So, let's not waste any time here. Let's get straight into the video. But before this video starts, you guys know the drill. Go down below, smash that like button if you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and if you do choose to subscribe, don't forget to click that little notification bell on the side of the subscribe button so you get notified of every time I post a new video. And also, if you can, please check out my other social media platforms. I have an Instagram page, I have a TikTok, I have a Twitch, and I also have a Discord. Links to all those as well as my Discord name so you can friend me are down below in the description box also. So if you can check those out and give me a follow over on one of those or all of them if you can, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, with that YouTuber speech out of the way, let's get straight into what you guys came here for, which is the meat of this video, the review of Java Monster Loca Mocha. Alright guys, so this is what the can of Java Monster Loca Mocha looks like. If you've seen the video where I reviewed the Mean Bean drink, you'll remember that that can was a lighter color, but this can, since it's mocha, it's a little bit darker. It still has that wood complexion, kind of. It kind of looks like the can is made out of wood, but it's not. And as you can see, they spelled mocha without the H. That's just a little thing that I noticed. Let's go over the nutrition facts, shall we? So in one can of this, there is 220 calories, 5 grams of fat, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 450 milligrams of sodium, 36 grams of carbs, 35 grams of sugar, and 8 grams of protein. And at the bottom of the can here, it says that there is 200 milligrams of caffeine per can. I'm not going to go over the ingredients list. Whenever I show you the can up close so you can try to make out the ingredients list, when I go over editing, it's hard for me to look at the ingredients list, so I'm just gonna pop it up on the screen right now if I can find it on the internet. I'm pretty sure I can. So take that information what you will. Anyways, let's uh, let's carry on and get this open. And right above the nutrition facts, you can see that it says shake gently, so I guess I might as well follow the Kansas instruction. Don't wanna shake it too hard because it did say shake gently. Okay, that should do it. And I would just drink it out of the can like a normal person, but I'm not normal, I'm a YouTuber. So, I'm bringing back the Dave & Buster's shot glass that I used in another video. I debuted this Dave & Buster's shot glass in my Mountain Dew Baja Flash review. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, check that out. Anyways, I'm going to pour a little bit of the Loca Mocha drink into this shot glass and well, take a shot because I'm not going to be drinking any alcohol out of this anyway, at least for the time being, so i got to use it for something. Let's get straight into the pouring. Ooh. Everyone knows that an energy drink review that involves pouring needs to have that nice, crisp audio of the drink being poured into whatever I'm going to drink it out of. So, I got my trusty Blue Yeti Nano right here. I'm going to pour the drink into the shot glass, and I'm going to get some nice pouring sounds while doing so. So let's do it. Okay, there was barely any sound there. Oh well, I tried. 
Alright guys, I got the drink right here. I'm going to tilt the camera so you can see what it looks like without spilling it. You can see it looks a lot like your normal everyday coffee beverage. Since it's called Loca Mocha, I'm assuming that it's going to have a chocolatey flavor. There's only one way to find out. Java Monster, Loca Mocha, down the hatch. Strange. When I took that sip, I could barely taste any chocolate flavor. I mean, there's a slight hint of chocolate, but it gets overpowered by the coffee flavor, I think. It's not bad, though. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being worst energy drink ever, 10 being most delectable energy drink ever, I would drink this every single time I need an energy fix. It's like a 5.5 or a 6. It's not really that special. There's not really that special flavor or anything it's just like your regular everyday like mocha drink only with very very minimal chocolate mocha flavor yeah it's all right i'd rather drink the mean bean flavor though but yeah it's still it's still pretty good all right guys with that that is the end of this java monster loca mocha review video i hope you guys enjoyed as much as you could Honestly, now that I think about it, this video might seem a little bit boring, but eh, I, I try, okay? Comment down below if you guys drink energy drinks, and if you do drink energy drinks, also comment down below what is your favorite energy drink that you've ever had. Mine, I've said this before, is the original Monster. It's just, oh man, the green apple flavor and the sparkliness and the carbonatedness and the fully sugarized aspect of the whole thing. It's just, oh, it's so good. Anyways, like I said, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because I want you, yes, you, to join the Halo Army because I could use as much support as I can get. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. It is Saturday night, the time that I'm filming this right now. Like I say, that Twitch streamer Avamus, he will be going live playing some Vroom Vroom Mario Kart. So I'm going to prepare myself by getting a little bit of practice in, maybe get coconut mauled in the process. And I will see you guys in the next Halo Vlogs 13 video, whatever that may be. So yeah, see you later. Bye.